Hi, Dishies. See, I didn't make you wait very long to show you these treasures. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that means you missed the estate sale where I shopped for these items I'm about to show you. So stop this video and go watch that one if you haven't seen it already. For those of you who have, come on into the parlor and let me show you the little treasures I found that all fit in one shopping bag. I paid between 50 cents and $4 each for the items I'm showing you. You saw me show the two religious icons. I ended up buying them both. I'll see if I can insert a clip of the other one here. The other one I already gave to my mom. This one I'm going to give to Alicia. Sorry, Leash, if you're watching. <laughs> Um, this is, I believe, a Russian icon, not a Greek icon. It may be Ukrainian or some other Eastern Bloc country based on some of the writing that's on it here. Let's see if I can... It's beautiful. And you saw me pick this up in the kitchen. This is one of those acrylic pieces from the 1970s. This could be either a spoon rest, spoon rest or a soap dish. It's shaped like a shell and it was in the kitchen. So perhaps it was being used for a soap dish. It's got some dried flowers in it. And this is one of the few things that I will probably be selling in my Etsy shop. You did see me pick this up. This is an old French's mustard jar. Yes, I know it was marked $4 and I'm pretty sure she did charge me. Anything that had a price tag on it, I was charged exactly what was on the price tag. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is an old French's mustard jar with a salad dressing kind of like almost like a like a caesar type dressing on it and what i was more interested in but the jar is a bonus are these cute little cupcake picks let me take them out look how cute they are they are little cake picks or cupcake picks. They have a place for the candle there, and I think they're just adorable. Yeah, I never come across little picks like this, and I really like them. How many are there? Two, four, uh-oh, someone broke. Six, eight, 10, and a broken one. Um, I don't know if it was broken or broke in in my custody <laughs> but aren't they cute I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet maybe I'll just start keeping picks in this little jar this is a beautiful beautiful hand tatted runner or dresser scarf and it is absolutely gorgeous it is white 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 all hand done there's a couple little stains on it and I know I've been promising you I'm going to do a stain removing video. I have all my stuff out, so maybe I'll get to that soon. So beautiful. Torn right here. It's definitely cotton. And it's definitely been starched. But I think it's just lovely. Look at this work here. Now, you may not know this, but my cousin Alicia knows how to do this. I don't think she's done it for some years. Um, you know, our eyes aren't as good as they once were. Anyway, I thought this was beautiful and I know that I will use it. Ended up getting this dishcloth here. It says, or hand, hand towel. I think it would be for the bathroom but you could use it wherever. Guess, may the light of friendship's fire fill our home with warmth and cheer. And this was done, hand done.
by, I'll just say Mrs. B, who was one of the owners of the home. And it is so pretty and I may be giving this as a gift. You saw me pick these up. I, I am such a sucker for stuff like this. These are obviously the little papers that are used in restaurants when you embarrassingly order decaf coffee <laughs> and they put this under you. So you get the pot with the orange handle <laughs> that has the decaf. Aren't they cool? In fact, I just went somewhere with my husband. We went out to breakfast the other day and and I ordered decaf and they put one of these under there, but it wasn't one of these cool absorbent ones. It was almost more just like a piece of paper. So yeah, these have been around for a long time, but these make fun little package toppers. Mm, I don't know that I would ever use all of them, but they're kind of fun. If anyone is interested in some of these for crafting, let me know. I can just pop some in the mail to you. I saw this adorable little hot pad. This one I like because she's red and I'll probably just hang her on the wall in my kitchen. I love her color and I think she's really cute. You saw me pick up that Sanctity of Marriage book. I wish I had bought it, but I don't really have a purpose for it, but I did enjoy looking at it and I hope you did too. But I did pick up this postcard which is so cute. Um, this is Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, and this is Saint Therese who, of Lisieux, who some of you may have heard of, and it's just a really sweet little image, but one of the things I really liked about it was it's just a little handwritten note. It's in the faintest pencil, and it's written to Mrs. F something or other in Monterey, California. And it says, Dear Francis, that must be Miss F, from Ruth. And I don't know the year, but look at the stamp. Can you see it? It's hand drawn. So maybe she just delivered it right to her. Have any of you ever done that when you were a kid, had a little postcard or something you were playing with, letter, and just drew your own little stamp on it? So cute. Very cute. That will just go in my postcard collection. You also saw me pick this up. Boy, was I happy to find this in the little box that had some religious items in it that had the icon in it. And I don't know if you can tell, but it says holy water. And I haven't cleaned it up or anything. It says keep, it says keep constantly filled. Isn't that cute? For holy water, keep constantly filled. So, of course, it does need some cleaning. I will try to clean it out with a little salt and vinegar. I did look these up online, and they sell between $30 and $40. So, I pretty much, you know, paid for my fun there at the estate sale. Yes, I really love this. I also got these beautiful glass rosary beads there. Um, the one in the middle is my favorite. This is a statue of the Virgin Mary. It's plastic and was made in Italy. And I will be giving this to Alicia. I think she just has the most beautiful face. I got this cute little Fuller coffee scoop. It says Fuller right here. And this says instant coffee, 
for the small one and regular coffee for the large one. And it is made in the USA. Oh, it's upside down. I love my vintage plastic kitchen. I just love it. I got two of these vintage bottle cappers. These were popular in the 60s and 70s. Maybe even the fifth through from the 50s to the 80s even, maybe I'm not sure. When you after you open a bottle, think of like a Pepsi bottle, you can cap it closed and they work really well. So when I see these, I don't see them often, but when I do, I pick them up because I think a lot of people don't really know what they are. You didn't think I was gonna pass up this tiny little plastic elf head, did you? He is so fabulous. He is probably gonna get grafted to something else. I'm not sure. He'll be great for Halloween or something weird and interesting i think he's so cool he's very tiny you can see him in the palm of my hand here but he is so swell just look at him i love his weird little face yeah he's cool look at his pointy nose I found all these little angels in there. They're plastic. I've found these before and I've seen some that are made in Italy and some that are made in Hong Kong. I'm not sure where these were made. I saw this little swan right away. Um, so I grabbed it. That's like the first thing you see me put in my, my little fist, was this little guy. I didn't see any marking on him. He'll be great for my miniatures collection and who knows what he might be used for. This little pin was on some foam, which you can see already disintegrated. And it says Alaska Fisherman's Union Pensioner. So probably Mr. B, who was one of the owners of the house, was a fisherman. He was a little bit younger than my grandfather. Um, and a lot of the Italians in the area, in the Monterey Bay area were fishermen back in the day. My grandfather and my great uncles all were, and they might have even known each other. And that's why I picked this up because it made me think of my family. I saw these two little vintage boxes sitting in there and I hoped that they would have something interesting in them because they definitely look old. The first one has a saint's image on it. It says Santa Agueda. On the back, it has P5 white, and then it has these little stickers on it. So I don't know what those mean, but inside were some of the old school stars. They look like the Denison stars that your teacher would lick and put on your paper. And all I have to do is see these and remember what they taste like. Does anyone else remember what these taste like? So probably if it wasn't for those stars, I would have left this, but it's still kind of a cool box. Oh, and this label too, Holy Childhood Flowers. I don't know. I don't know what any of this this means. If you know, let me know. Then there was this, and I'm going to try to insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like. This box is really thrashed, and it says Holy Trinity Nightlights. Okay, and just let me, the scale of this, I'm putting everything in my little dollhouse sofa. It's small, and it says Holy Trinity Nightlights, guaranteed to burn 
12 to 24 hours. You can see there's something underneath, but it's been covered with masking tape. So I'll try to insert a picture of what this box is supposed to look like. And this is what's inside. I was really, really excited when I opened it because inside, oh, are these teeny tiny little candles, which is great for miniatures and dollhouse building. And I believe the directions on the box say, use only the best quality vegetable oil. And they're guaranteed to burn for 12 to 24 hours and not to set the cork on fire. Scary. I'm just not quite sure how they were supposed to be used. But um, yeah, I'll show you a picture if I can find it again online. These are porcelain flowers. They look like violets to me. In fact, they look a lot like the violet candies I mentioned to someone that I had tried when I was a child. Um, anyway, I just think they're so pretty. So someone has put them in this little vase. The bottom of the, of the bottle says UA. Think. But both the bottle and the flowers are quite adorable and I really like these and they will just go in my miniatures collection for future use. Well, I didn't tell you, but I w there was a garage. I bought this old paintbrush. I'm trying to thrift some arts and crafts supplies for my doll's, doll's house and miniature building. And they are crazy expensive and I refuse to pay $7 for 25 popsicle sticks. Anyway, this is not a popsicle stick, but yeah, I got this. Um, I have a small collection of these. I have an old house and I actually use them. I got one of these and I know my friend Carol from My Blessed Nest, she has a little collection of these that were her father's and she uses them for display. Um, yeah, it's neat, but I didn't notice till I got it home that it was broken on one end, but that's okay. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm not sure. They can be sold. There is a market for them. Um, I haven't really looked it up, but it's broken. So there goes the market for me. And then this slides out, but I couldn't get mine to slide out. I don't know why I'm forever buying paper things because I don't do junk journaling. I really, maybe I'll give these to Alicia and my cousin Stephanie because they like stuff like this. These are old Beacons labels. Beacons is a storage place. I don't know if it's a chain or not. Is there a Beacons near you? Let me know. Um, but they have the numbers on them. Stickers, peel and stick. And I bought this, um, this old hank of cotton string. I love string. And I do use it when I'm packaging things and for crafting. So I really like that, the old cotton hank of string. And then I bought, I bought this little file. I think this is called a rasp. And it actually, <laughs> I don't know anything about old tools. If you know anything about old tools, maybe you can tell me about it. It actually st says Stiletto on it. Do you see that? Stiletto USA. But this is a rasp and it will come in handy when I'm crafting for my doll's house to sand down and shape things. So this is the kind of thing I'm looking for while I'm out thrifting right now. 
one of the best things was this pair of scissors I found in the garage. They are clean cut, forged steel made in the USA. I have no idea how old they are. I like this size. I think they're about five inches. I cleaned and sharpened them up. I'll show you a picture of what they look like before and I will add those to my crafting supplies. And then this is probably one of my favorite things that I bought there. And the last thing I'm going to show you, it says seven in one deluxe tool, a deluxe seven in one toolkit. And you have seen things like this today. These were made in Hong Kong. Um, anyway, you know, it's, like a little handy dandy toolkit you can just put in your pocketbook or your um, your your glove box in your car i don't think it's ever even been used well maybe for hammering um, there's a phillips head screwdriver there's a flat head screwdriver there's an awl for making holes or punching holes this is pretty cool and then this is what I really wanted. This is like a little hand screwdriver, a little hand drill. And I have seen people use these online when they're making little miniatures because you don't need something with a lot of force a lot of times and just a little hand drill will do. So I, I actually, that was on my Christmas list. So I was really happy to find that. I really appreciate you all sticking around for this long haul, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Ta, everyone. Don't forget to stay for the movie. No! Ah!